Welcome back everybody to the Michael Tate Road to Glory. It's the final game of the regular season. And this one decides who is moving on to the Pac-12 championship. Will Michael Tate finally have his chance to play for a Pac-12 title? Or will UCLA lose again to USC? It happened last year, although they were already ahead of us in the standings, whereas now we're tied. So, this game means a whole lot more. And, okay, a 24-yarder there on third down as UCLA tries to get on the board first. And did they turn it over? Uh, probably. Okay, here we are against USC. Can Tate provide an impact in the season's biggest game? And there's a draw. Past Michael Tate and ahead for a gain of seven. Tate's pass rushing wasn't very impressive last episode. Hopefully that can change today as they're denied the first down but do make it third and one. I'm guessing we're not going to see as much option and hurry up this week, which I think bodes well for our defense, just not getting stuck in bad situations. Oh, play fake. Cover down the middle here. Come on, Kessler. Throw it. Throw it. Come on. Tate, Tate's so good at covering. They complete the pass. What do you expect? That took forever. Like... How long was Kessler in the pocket? The replay only goes so far back. I might have to just, like, put up a view of the play again with a stopwatch. How long did Kessler wait? It was a three-man rush. We had no progress. And here they are now at the 26, after the longest play ever. Well, maybe they're really tired now, and that might help us. Maybe. Underneath. Man, Tate couldn't get out of his backpedal fast enough. He makes the tackle. But I'm noticing his change of direction is not so great. You can see right there. Although it's in slow motion, so it's going to look slow. Man, I enjoy being in man coverage, but I get bummed out when it's just against the tailback. Hand off. Oh, man. That's, that's my bad right there. That's all me. Should have strafed and just made a clean tackle there and not got so aggressive. All right, second down and eight. And oh, I did not mean to hit stick there. I was trying to, you know, use power or pass rush moves and it already disengaged. So it's an eight yard pickup, almost a sack for Michael Tate, who was one off of his freshman total of four. He has two in his last three games. So third down and two in the I formation. There's the run. Michael Tate shuts it down. In the backfield, he makes the tackle, and that'll bring on the field goal unit. And they make a 25-yarder, so... Does UCLA have an answer? Ready. They're into USC territory. Looks like a strong possession, but... Two drops and a first down conversion. Then, the UCLA Bruins take the lead at 7-3. Michael Tate with... Two tackles on the day. It's an eye formation now for USC. Uh-oh. Was not ready quickly. Oh, man. That's going to drop the coach trust. I was thinking run there. And it probably is going to drop his coach trust by like 52 or so. I've had a practice. And I think you lose like 52 in those. Get back out there. You lose 26 there for bad man coverage. I think bad zone coverage might be worse. Or I'm just off. So, third down. Here's Cody Kessler in the shotgun. They go three wide. We're going to have a cover two. Can we get the stop? Kessler pressured and thrown to the ground for a loss of seven. There we go. We got more aggressive on that one. And that's a stop for USC as we get the football. And now we know these two score leads have been very tough for UCLA to get. And there's an interception. Come on, we can't get two score leads against teams with one win, so why did I expect it to happen now? Uh-oh, he hit Kessler, but it's still complete for a first down. Now in the I formation. Oh, come on, keep them, keep the tight on this side, guys. They're going to pass. And Kessler fires complete. Great accuracy to Blackwell for 18 yards. And they're going to toss it this way. Take it out in front. Oh no, he's still going. He gets eight on that. How do we how do we let him even get yardage on that play? What happened here? They call the timeout. 
All right, one wide receiver on this side, and they'll run it this way. Tate can't get there, and the tackle's made after a nine-yard run. All right, first down and goal. And that's out the back of the end zone. So a second and goal upcoming. Again, Tate will be in man coverage here, but we'll see if they actually put the running back into a pattern. They run it with him. He's trying to stretch it outside and will not get there. A loss of one. Can we complete the red zone stand and secure or hold on to this lead? It's third down and goal. Four-man rush is incoming. They're going to have to pass it this time. Kessler under center. And here we go. Tate stood up. Touchdown, USC. Well, I expected much better after we did well on first and second down. So, the Trojans are in front. And will we have an answer before halftime? Well, we got five yards. That won't do it. 48 seconds until halftime, and they come out three wide, but will they actually be throwing it? Indeed. And Michael Tate hits Kessler again. Tipped away. They are not doing a good job picking up Michael Tate, but Kessler is doing a good job of just unleashing the football. Here is third down. Tate on another rush. Down the middle and complete despite the hit. 15 yards. We get back in time here. First and 10 with 35 seconds. Oh, I think Tate was offsides. He sure was. That's going to hurt the coach trust. And the overthrow. I like that though. They threw it deep with the offsides call. So that's gonna that's gonna really drop the coach trust. How much do you lose there? Like 50 for a penalty? 26. I'm I'm like always off with my predictions here. Okay, 30 seconds on the clock and one timeout left for USC. And Kessler going deep to the end zone. It is knocked away. Tate down there. He was helping. Doubt he gets anything for that. He was outside of his zone responsibility. I was just holding triangle, holding for the best, which is like what I do in coverage. And now rushing again. We're going to stay on sides this time. And, oh, he's trying to go outside. And you let him catch that? Come on. Close the gap. And here is USC continuing to hold on to that final timeout. And now they're in field goal range. I don't like this play call. They could easily exploit that that uh, hole in the zone not that one but we actually should have had a guy there 13 seconds on the clock now they're in a tight formation and here we go again Kessler outside and a gain of three with eight seconds you know what I'm calling timeout under smoke sucks ah I don't want this either I could call another timeout but we'll see if this works. It's second down. We're going to bring some pressure at least. And that is a touchdown. USC extends their lead 17 to 7. Pretty good play in this half by Cody Kessler. We're now into the second half and USC is driving again. In the offset eye behind Kessler. And that's complete to a wide open man, and they're inside the 25. A lot of receiving talent here for the Trojans. We haven't been able to slow him down. Here's first and 10. And there's Tate with decent coverage, but it's still a gain of five. If we can at least hold them to a field goal here, I'll feel better about our chances, but we need to show we can do that. There's the run. Oh, he tried to hurl. Not today. Could they be running it here again? Yes, and there's the first down and a USC touchdown. We were not in position at all to defend the run. Tate was like the only one there in the middle of the field. So 24-7 USC. This was our chance to make it to the Pac-12 championship, and we are just getting blown out at this point. It's a 17-point game. We have a chance to get back in it if we can get a touchdown here, or at least a field goal. And we went for it and got it and finished the possession. Well done, guys. 15 plays. It took a while, but it's a 10-point game. Can the comeback continue? We have to get this football back. Second down. A quick screen. It's intercepted! 
Touchdown, UCLA! There you go. All of a sudden, a 14-point swing here by UCLA. Cody Kessler picked off by Ishmael Adams. And now, it's only a three-point game. I doubt they'll try that quick bubble screen again or whatever they tried. First and ten. And going outside. Good coverage, though, by Michael Tate, and that forces a throwaway. Tate should get some points here for forcing throwaways. He's at 874 now for points. Third quarter winding down. And here comes Tate. Oh, Kessler gets it away and throws it perfectly. 22 more. We saw a couple good episodes in a row of good pass rush. Not even the sacks, just consistent rush by Tate. Not so much today. That's complete on the outside as Aguilar gets five more. Facing a second and five. Oh, get there, Michael. This is your play to make. Kessler outrunning him. Doesn't even make the tackle. It's still a loss of two. I definitely want to get Michael Tate's speed up. If I get a chance for a skill upgrade for speed, I'm definitely going to try and do that as it's knocked away, bringing up a fourth down. I mean, I want block shedding, but it's not all that I want. So they end up punting. UCLA trying to complete their comeback. And they're well on their way, but end up stalling after a big 23-yard conversion. We have them backed up here. If we can get a stop and force a good field position on a punt, we'll be in a good spot. Fullback dive. Good recall. They get eight or they get six yards. Pressure is going to be key here late in the game. Second down. Come on, Michael. And here's the pass, another cut block. Kessler, oh, he's sacked by Michael Tate. Pretty much ran into, what? Tate doesn't get the sack. Not even half of it, or a quarter. I'm not sure why Tate did not get credit for that sack, but now it is third down and they're gonna keep it on the ground. Michael Tate delivers the big hit and that sets up fourth and three. That was a hit stick, by the way. Trying to make some big plays here down the stretch. And now it's going to be up to the simulating 15-yard penalty. And we turn it over right after that. We were in good position. We were almost in field goal range. Now the stop has to happen again. Hands off with room and a 10-yard pickup. At least that was a first down because they have a second and one there. You're just going to pretty much give up a first down the next play, and then game's practically over. So, new set of downs, our last chance basically to hold them. They're spreading the defense out, and again, slipping through into space. They get four. All right, Tate, come off the edge here. Try to make a play. And that's not going to happen, but a good tackle. Good tackle there. And they're going to have another chance to end this game, and we'll see if Tate and the Bruins... And give the offense one more chance. I wonder if they go read option here. What could they be doing? Three wide receivers on the field. They're going to pass. Unbelievable. Dump off. They got it. USC is winning this game. UCLA almost pulled off the comeback. Oh, they're not going to. Are they calling a kneel right now? They come out in the victory? Looks like it. Okay. USC knocks off UCLA again. We're now 0-2 against them in this series. They are going to the Pac-12 championship, and that means UCLA will just have one more game, and it's the bowl game this year. We'll see what it is and who it's going to be against. Michael Tate finishes the day with, I believe, four tackles. A sack that should have been a sack, but wasn't a sack. And... There are the numbers. Now over 10,000 experience. All right, a quick bye week here, but check out the skill upgrades, guys. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Dinner time, plus two block shedding, and plus three tackle. Definitely getting that one, and we'll see what's up in the next round of skill upgrades.
Okay, finally getting to bowl season. Who will UCLA be taking on? 9-3 and three, UCLA will face 8-4 and four, San Jose State in the Las Vegas Bowl. So here is Michael Tate's last game of his sophomore season. Now, I did go through a couple more weeks of practice, and there weren't any more good packages to buy. But I did surpass the total required for the next coach trust so michael tate is now a team captain giving him the extra plays option next one we go for is crowd favorite and the audibles really want those although road audibles are still many points away so we'll see if michael tate can play well on this bowl game he does have more block shedding now and i have not checked the skill upgrades yet for this week so let's take a look bad no how about machine combo that one is tempting. It's 3K. It's on sale. Gives him speed, strength, acceleration, and agility. Why don't we get this one? Tate's a little bit faster now. He's up to 82 block shedding. And we'll see how he plays in the bowl game next episode. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you guys in Michael Tate's final sophomore game in the Las Vegas Bowl. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you next time.